Good morning. It's Monday, June 20th. I'm Michelle Schlaven, filling in for the Big Bash. It's good to have you here with Top Story. Click the like and subscribe button below, then you can tune into the full World Watch show to hear stories like two world records awarded to a woman with a blazing fast swim in super cold water and a chance to walk through the Egyptian pyramids in France. Now this is Top Story. Is the 2026 FIFA World Cup coming to a city near you? Now we know. Last week, soccer's international governing body announced the names of 16 cities that will get to host matches in the tournament four years from now. They're spread between the US, Canada, and Mexico, the first time the World Cup has been split between three North American nations. The lineup includes Atlanta, Toronto, Mexico City, and the New York City metro area. But FIFA hasn't announced which city gets to host the final game. And as much as we want the early games, there's one game we want. We want the last game. We want the last game. We want that World Cup trophy hoisted right here up the road in MetLife Stadium. In the U.S., the games will be played on football fields. Actual football fields, not soccer football fields, which is redundant anyway. American football is still more popular than soccer, with more than three times as many viewers. But FIFA is making a bold prediction. By 2026, soccer or football will be the number one sport in this part of the world. <clears throat> Not that. I sign for that. Okay. <laughs> we'll see about that one. We'll see if you're right. <laughs> Make sure to check out the full site at worldwatch.news. You can try out the show free. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Michelle Schlaven. And remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand. We'll see you tomorrow.